Tonight, dangers of a new war front breaking out after yesterday's deadly rocket attack on civilians in the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights, more than 100 miles from Gaza. Overnight, Israel launching retaliatory strikes deep within Lebanon against Hezbollah, the Iranian-backed militant group there, saying they hit a series of targets, including weapons and infrastructure. Israel's defense minister saying today they will pay a heavy price for their actions. Hezbollah denying responsibility for the attack on a crowded soccer field. Today, thousands of mourners attended the joint funeral for the victims. Among the 12 children and teens killed yesterday was 13-year-old John Ibrahim. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu landed in Israel earlier today after rushing back from his trip to the U.S. We stand by Israel's right to defend its citizens from terrorist attacks. We also don't want to see the conflict escalate. We don't want to see it spread. Early Saturday, the IDF says they launched missiles on a school in central Gaza, killing some 36 people, including 15 children, according to hospital officials. Now the race to reach a ceasefire deal becoming even more dire as the temperature in the region continues to rise. Megan Fitzgerald, NBC News.